So this is a 1980 Cabo Rico 38 that I bought in September of 2013. She was named Fairwinds. Just changed the name to Corsair. She'll be launched on the 25th of March 2014. We're just finishing up some of the wintertime projects to get her ready to go in the water. So we've done a number of projects. Uh, right now we're just finishing barrier coat. I had the hull uh, soda blasted and then uh, fared. And then I had three uh, coats of barrier paint um, applied, epoxy barrier coat. And uh, the gentleman there is just taking off the tape and it's going to retape and prepare for the bottom coat, which is going to go on this afternoon. We've had a very, very, very cold winter. It's been hard to get work done. And in fact, I was worried that uh, I might miss my launch date on the 25th, so I had uh, Osprey Marine actually tent the boat. You can see the plastic is rolled up now because the day is warm. But they tented the boat, brought in heaters so that they could keep working in the cold weather last week and get the uh, epoxy berry coat on and get it cured because it won't cure if the temperature is not above at least 50 degrees. So uh, we're going to finish that up today. And we've done a number of other projects. I've got a uh, marine mechanic who's fixing up the engine a little bit. Nothing wrong with the engine. or so and not have too many issues with it over the summer. And next I'll take you up inside and we'll take a look around the, uh, the boat if it's not too dark. And just looking around the deck, there's uh, the boat was in just amazing condition when I bought it for a 33 year old boat, now 34 years old. But there were a few things. One of the um, wooden cleats or horns and this boat had all wooden cleats and horns, uh, one of them. Uh, was broken off in the back here, one of the large horns. And uh, so I had the pair, the matching pair, replaced with large bronze. You can see the other one over here. Well, it's in the shadows, but there it is. And the teak trim, there's a lot of teak on this boat. You can see where already I'm going to need to um, do a little work on that. It's finished allegedly in Setal, which is apparently a more durable, uh, perhaps less uh, beautiful, but more durable finishing product. Uh, but overall, the teak is in great condition. Yep. And then we had a number of things done with the rigging. You can see, see I still have a winter cut. So you can see that black track. It's been inserted in the mass track. And what that does is it makes it extremely easy to raise and lower the mainsail. So it really cuts down on the friction. So that's a system I've had installed. I've had a number of little upgrades to the rigging. I had a boom vang put in, installed, which you can't see, obviously it's underneath the uh, winter cover. I had a lot of little small issues addressed. Uh, in fact, you see just the ends there of the lifeline. So all the lifelines were replaced. The lifelines that run around between the stanchions on the boat, essentially there to keep you on the boat. Uh, they were all uh, relatively old. They had plastic coating on them, it was cracked. So I had them replaced with stainless steel lifelines. So here we are in the companionway, looking down into the salon and the galley, you can see that the companionway steps have been removed because the uh, marine mechanic is working on the old Perkins 4108. So we've pulled the companionway steps out of the way and put them over there on the starboard side of the salon. So I'm going to just drop down into the salon. Okay, now we're down in the salon. A um, bit of a mess because mechanic's been in here working. You can see his heater there, his light. Just move around here. So what have we done here? Um, we replaced the uh, raw water pump. So a new impeller, new water, raw water pump. Uh, replaced the vented loop. 
change some hoses, double clamp some hoses that needed to be double clamp. Very important project, we replaced the, uh, the shaft seal um, with a new shaft seal. And that went in very well. There's a few more things to do. Um, a few parts ordered. And I'm out here on a Saturday, so I would expect my friend will be back early next week to finish this up. So, just a quick tour of the boat if you can see anything. It's a bit dark in here. Obviously there's the uh, galley area, just the port of the companionway as you enter the boat. You got the uh, refrigerator there, 12 volt, volt uh, cold plate system. Um, stove, double sinks. Some cabin cabinetry there, not a whole lot. Wouldn't call this a uh, very substantial galley. Later Cabaricos extended the galley out uh, in more into the center line of the boat um, than this. Turning, you have the port uh, settee, which obviously can be a sea berth. And uh, you have that small cabinet there, which is where I decided to install the uh, AC and heat unit. I had a choice between the small cabinet or the hanging locker, and I just couldn't bring myself to give up the space in the hanging locker. And so we installed it in that, uh, that small cabinet there. A little bit more of a mess on this side. You can see the companionway steps are on top of the starboard settee, which that starboard settee slides out and forms a double berth. And of course, centerline table. Uh, where you can lift up the eaves and six people can dine easily there. Just coming around into the aft quarter berth. And of course, cushions are out of the way to reveal the battery compartment, battery storage. And yeah, it's got a nice, actually very nice quarter berth. It's nice, I guess two people, small people sleep comfortably here. Got great ventilation, got a port light, and you got a hatch, which is right directly over my head here. Decent uh, cabin cabinetry space, storage space. And of course you got the privacy of a full door, I mean, uh, of, a, of, a, of a cabin door. So it actually can be a closed cabin, unlike some quarter berths which are open into the salon. Okay, I uh, turned on some lights, so hopefully, You'll be able to see, there's the, the single head on this boat, which I like that idea. There's no need in wasting precious space on a boat for more than one head. You got a manual toilet, sink, and of course the uh, shower is, essentially this is the shower compartment. You shower over that drain there, close the door. The shower extends out from the faucet there. And that's your shower and your head. And then all the way forward is a very nice V-berth. Uh, right now we've got some sails stored in there. I'll have those back on the boat soon. And you've got the boards for the dinghy there. Um, good storage. Storage on both sides, cabinets, reading lights, anchor locker up forward, nice hatch, plenty of ventilation. Uh, Cabo Rico boats, very well known for the carpentry, the joinery, beautiful Costa Rican teak. And this is not veneer, this is solid teak uh, slats, and uh, everything's solid. There's no veneer in the boat. Yep, and there we go, uh, applying the anti-fouling bottom paint, final coat to this process, and uh, day by day the boat is approaching readiness, great to see.